There are a lot of reasons why some lenses cost almost $2,000 and some are basically given to you when you buy a camera. And one of the main ones is the aperture in the different lenses. Let me show you why this matters so much. First up we have camera number one and you can see the lowest I can get my f-stop on this particular lens is f5.6. It won't go any lower. And if I tap the shutter release, you can see the shutter speed the camera is suggesting is 1 over 200. This would be fine if I was photographing like a classroom where nobody's moving around. But if I was photographing a basketball game, a lot of my photos are going to turn out blurry at this slow of a shutter speed. Let's look at lens number two. There are a multitude of reasons why this one costs almost $2,000. But one of them is that I can get a much bigger aperture. I can get my f-stop down quite a bit lower. Look at that. I can get all the way down to f2.8. And at f2.8, look at my shutter speed. I'm now shooting at 1 over 800. My other camera, I was shooting at 1 over 200. You guys, that's a huge difference when it comes to sports photography. Now all of my photos, the motion is going to be completely frozen. And I don't have to worry about getting any motion blur in any of my photos. That's a pretty big deal. And that's why cameras that have huge apertures like this one that let in a ton of light cost so much dang money.